This here is our uh, bag filter. It is a 25 micron bag filter. A micron described is actually, if you want to put it in terms, uh, one thickness of one hair is 100 microns. So the pore hole size in this is 1 25th, the thickness of a hair. Um, you have your water coming in, and then you have your water coming out. Um, these bag filters are usually before any other treatment process because they will remove the larger particles, sand, rocks, sticks, if you're uh, from a surface water as well. So they'll remove any of the big particles so we don't plug up any of the rest of our system. Um, they have gauges on them. This is your inlet gauge pressure. This is your outlet pressure. And you do the monitoring between 10 to 15 PSI, you'll know it's time to change your bag. Now the maintenance on this is pretty straightforward. You isolate your flow coming into the, to the unit by shutting this valve off. You isolate your flow out of the unit by shutting it off. Now you shut these valves off so you don't drain the water out of the rest of your system. The least amount of air we have in here, the better when we're done. So, and then we also on the back, open the drain and it'll drain the water out of here and then you crack this vent so that helps the water drain a little faster. Then you begin by removing the wing nuts off the top. So then we pull this out and you got your weight in there to keep your filter in place. And then inside, you have a, a screen with your bag filter inside of it. Now all your sand and gravels will get stopped in there. And once it's getting plugged up, your pressures will start to climb on your inlet side and decrease on your outlet side. And then once you get between 10 PSI, it's time to change this. So we take this out, you put a new bag, and then we spray it down with our disinfection solution. But you scrub in here, you look inside, and then you're with the shop vac, you vac out any material particulate that would be sitting in the bottom that didn't get trapped by the bag or passed through and maybe stuck in the canister. Now, imagine this was a new filter. We're not going to replace it because we can still get some more life out of this, but in instructional purposes, we, this is how the process is done. New bag in. We put this into the bottom in place. Then we disinfect our weight. And we set it back in. Always orientating your valve to the back. Then we begin putting the clamps back on. When you're tightening these, you want to tighten them up evenly, like you would a car tire, so the whole thing gets pushed down at once. If it's crooked, you'll get water leaking out the side. So good and snug, hand tight. Then you reset the system to make sure that your drain is closed. Then you're going to open your inlet. And then your outlet. System's ready to be filled up again. Now you turn your system on to run your water through here to purge the air out of the valve. Once the air has been purged out, you get a stream of water, you close this, and your maintenance is complete for this unit.